And now, the Gaiety School of Acting, the National Theatre School of Ireland, presents the all-live radio comedy, Songs of the Sirens, or the Ghosts of Rig 39. Written, directed, and with music composed by Roger Gregg. Performed by the Class of 2018. Five, four, three. It's best not to know what lurks down below The creatures that swim in the deep For on Rig 39 they sleep for all time And the dead have their secrets to keep Shudders each time I hear that song of Rig 39. Bah! Rig 39 is just a fable of mermaids and slippery, slimy things that lurk in the polluted deep. And every word of it is true. How do you know, stranger? Because I was there. What? Tis true. I am the only man that set foot in that cursed rig and lived to tell the tale. <gasps> You're Ishmael. No, call me Bosco. For that is my name and this is my tale. A pint for myself and the beautiful Circe here. My name is Circe. Mm. Gather round now and you shall hear the tale. I worked as a crewman on ship, the sea nymph. The deep sea salvage boat? The same. Named after them Nereids, the beautiful daughters of the sea. The enchanting nymphs that lures us to our deaths with their beguiling siren songs. Flowy hair and exotic bikini tops with jazz. Aye, let me tell the story. Anyway, it was a fair morning. Nula was the captain and Tom was her husband. He was also the first mate and my best friend. We were taking aboard a strange cargo for a strange mission, led by an even stranger stranger. We were all on deck when... Careful, Mr. Kirk. This is sensitive scientific equipment. Yes, Dr. Krill. Is that the last of it, Doctor? Yes, Captain. This is the last of the top secret equipment. Good. When you and your assistant are finished, Doctor, I want everyone up here on the bridge. As you wish. Oh, oh, I want a fish. Can I have a fish? I have been a good girl, haven't I? Oh, oh. Yes, Betty, you have been a very good girl. You may have a fish. What is all that cargo out there on the deck, Nula? I don't know, Tom. Didn't you Didn't you bother to ask? No, it's top secret. But maybe you should Who have. gives the orders here, Tom? Well, I don't think it's too oh, much What do you to... think? Do you think you could just follow my orders when I get hey, them? Hey, I don't know about you two, but i never seen the likes of that there doctor before. Hmm, you're right, Bosco. She does seem a bit green to me. Yes. And her skin... Are those scales? Why? And why is her neck all wrapped up in that big bandage? I don't know. I have a feeling we're going to find out. We are here, Captain. Myself, my pet seal, Betty. Hey! Hello, everybody! Or, or... A talking seal? Oh, she's lovely. Ah, dust me a ball! Come on! Let's play catch! Yes! I have implanted an invention of mine in her throat which permits her to speak. I am your friend! My only friend. That's because you're a sociopath. <laughs> oh, thank you, Betty. <laughs> I love you, Dr. Yes, Crow. Yes, I know. Oh, hi there, everyone. Ah, and this is my burly, muscle-bound assistant. Arr. Kirk. Nua? Is it really you? Yes, it's me. What are you doing here? I'm the captain. You're the skipper? I am. It's my boat. Really? Really. And what a lovely, shapely, striking vessel she is. Oh, thank you. Fine, graceful lines and quite 
perky. Yes, she is very perky. What's below her rolling deck, I wonder? Stick around, mate, and you might go down below. (laughs) (laughs) Same old Kirk. Oh, ahoy, Tom. Ahoy, Kirk. Ahoy, Kirk. Oh, ahoy, Bosco. We haven't seen you since... That night. Yes, that night. So... What a night. Oh, that was the best night oh, of my life. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, so, God. what brings you here now, Kirk? I'm working for Dr. Krill. Tom? Oh, is, is that so, Kirk? Yes, Kirk is my assistant on our mission. Oh, well, uh, Nula is married to me now, Kirk. Tom! Huh. What? Stop it! You're embarrassing me! Cease this sad, sordid, melodramatic soap opera that is your pathetic human relationships. Or what now? Time is wasting. We must embark on our mission. And what is this mission, Doctor? Two days ago, a transmission was received from a highly classified deep-sea oil rig of the Death Grip Corporation in an unmarked location far, far, far out in the North Atlantic. I didn't know there was a rig out there. No, it was not on any map. She said unmarked, Bosco. Oh, right. I have a recording of that transmission here. Hearing this will answer your questions. Hello? Hello? This is Professor Scoopalopolopolis of Rig 39. Death Grip Oil Corporation, come in, come in. SOS, Mayday, Mayday, they are surrounding us. I think this may be our last transmission before we're captured. I am terrified. I also am terrified. Why? They're beautiful. So beautiful. Can't resist. Wait, I can make you rich. I can give you a deal. I can't resist. Son is beautiful. The creatures are closing in. Humanoid Marians, please, please, no, no. And that is the last message from Rig 39. Any questions? Uh, this Rig 39 is our destination. Precisely. The Death Grip Oil Corporation has hired us to rescue their staff and restart the deepest deep sea drilling of the deepest deep sea. Deep, deep, so deep. Hmm. Seems straightforward enough. Let's cast off. Oh, uh, <clears throat> can I talk to you, Nula, private? Push off. I mean, as man I and wife. I can't, Tom. Not now. I'm the captain here, remember? But This I... is my ship. All right, Nula, you win. Again, I, I just hope you don't regret this. That stupid muscle head curve. I'll assist him in making ready for shoving off. Oh, that's very nice of you, Kirk. It's nothing, Captain. Call me Nula, Kirk. Okay. Nula. Oh, I love it when you say my name. Yeah, you want me to say it again? Yeah, say it again. Oh, about naughty Nula. Oh, yeah. That's right, you're oh, naughty. Well, yeah. stop staring at each other and throw off the moorings. Oh, oh. Okay, Doctor. Straight away. All right, let's look lively, you swamps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I say that, Kirk. I'm the first mate. I get to say that. Oh, well, I'm sorry if I'm encroaching on your seat. You know, you come on, you you we'll can soon be underway, back. Doctor. Good. We sail this day to Rig 39. We didn't know it yet, but we were on a collision course with a whole scurrilous school of... My arms will never let you go. Never. Never. Yes, Cersei. The crew of Rig 39 was attempting to drill deeper than any rig ever disturbing the mysteries of the ocean floor. Cersei says, squeeze me. (sighs) That's right, Cersei. There were loads of mysterious delays and strange accidents. Just a day earlier, they had touched the bottom. What was that? That was us touching down on the ocean floor. Good. Now we can finally start drilling. We're months behind schedule. Uh, uh, Yes, uh, about those many mysterious delays and strange accidents, uh, I think I should inform you that I... Professor, I I don't have time for excuses. When can we start drilling? Uh, Just as soon as we do a final equipment check. If you must. 
This is the bridge of underwater drilling unit number four. Come in, Jimmy. Oh, hello, Professor Skibblobblobblis. Hello, Jimmy. We've just reached the ocean floor. How are things looking up there in the forward section? They look the same as they always do, Professor. Like a submarine, only a bit darker, but that's because we're so deep underwater, right? Uh, right. This is a submarine with a big drill attached. But that's not what I meant, Jimmy. Oh? I meant report on our technical status. Our what? Our techni- uh, Look, is the drill head in position? Um, let me look out the window here. Hello? Hello? What is going on with my phone, Professor? Um, wait! I can't see anything! Your phone? It is not at all working. Well, there's no reception way down here, Mr. Bukharin. What? No reception? We are 4.7 kilometers underwater, sir. It's pitch black out there! Turn on the light then, Jimmy! Huh? The large yellow button to your right. Oh, yeah. Oh, why? Hey, that's neat. Have you any idea how much it costs each second of time that I, multi-billionaire energy giant, investment tycoon, financial czar, candy cane, V.I. Bukharin, has no phone reception? A lot. A lot? A lot! Any second I am expecting a phone call to close a multi-billion dollar deal, that will launch a thousand licking ships, ships laden with billions of high fructose, corn syrup, HFCS, candies. Candies? Yes, for I'm not only the energy giant, investment tycoon, and financial czar, I'm also the... Candy king. Yes, I own 87% of all candies to all children. Children? Yes, children, consumers, idiots, fools, gorging and gorging their fat little bodies upon the highly addictive splendor of my tiny balls of monosodium glutamate. Carcinogenic. Yeah, so wonderful. Soaked in aspartame, potassium bromate, dripping with fat, trans, sodium sulfite, and coated and butylated hydroxanazole and butylated hydroxytolene. Mmm, so good. And every one a drop of death. Yes, each is wrapped in a shiny foil in a bubble wrap, in a plastic bubble wrap, in plastic blister packaging, in a box wrapped in plastic. Tones of plastic choking the seas. Plastic wasters everywhere. That's right. So don't talk to V.I. Bukharin, energy giant, investment tycoon and candy cane about, uh, about... What was I talking about? Phone reception. Oh, yes. Don't talk to me about phone reception. That's really beautiful out there, Professor. The ocean floor, I mean. Even all the plastic debris sparkles down here. It gives me an idea for a poem. No, no poetry, Jimmy. A window to our dream in our little submarine. You motion to the door to show me the ocean floor. Okay, okay, Jimmy. What did we say about spoken word? Not to do it during company time. Right. So, without any poems, just tell me if you see the drill head. The really big gnarly thing with the giant jagged teeth sitting right there in the bottom of the ocean? Yes. Yeah, it's right there. Excellent. We are ready to commence drilling. Then begin. Time is money, especially my time. They didn't know it yet. But they were about to drill open the lid of Davy Jones's locker and hear the siren song. We don't care about your hair if you dare to eat a peach. We don't care about your pants or if you dance along a beach. We don't care about your fears or if you hear us singing here. A song weaves round you with seaweed red and brown. You wake too late and you drown. You wake too late and you drown! Oh, barnacles! What kind of mermaid family choir is this? Our siren songs are supposed to be enchanting, you know? Irresistible. You call yourselves irresistible. Sorry, Mom. Really sorry. We'll do better next time. Flapping stingray, lads. Since forever our people have been gathering here before our sacred undersea chamber to sing, and you know what? That sounded terrible. I mean, cracking atrocious. What have you to say for yourselves, Dodo? Sorry, Mom. I don't know what happened. 
I feel there's something different about me, like a longing for a relationship. Oh no! No relationships! None of that! But I feel a longing drifting in the current. Your mind is drifting in the current. Stop thinking about whatever it is you're thinking about. But my body, my body is... No! None of that! And you, Sito, what's your excuse? Sorry, Mom! I'm so, so... Floppy is fine. <laughs> but he got his little teeny tiny tentacles all twisted in that horrible plastic bag. And he looked at me with his little eyes. And I couldn't just... Couldn't. Stop it! Stop crying! There's enough salt in this water already. I'm sorry. Cleo? Oh, how can I sing properly, Mother, you know? I'm in the same top as last year. It's embarrassing. I need new clamshells, scooped and scalloped with glitter on them. Oh, this is stupid. Like, totally, can I go now? You'll keep your fins right here, Crater. Oh, it's all about you, Mom. We have our own lives, okay? As long as you swim in my house, you will do as I say. Oh, typical. You're such a queen. That's right. I am a queen. And your mother. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. You don't know anything about me. You can't possibly know what it's like to have to be your daughter. I got dreams, too, you know. But to you, I'm just another one of your fin-tailed, gloopy spawn. Fine. Hate me all you want. Proto? Your voice. What about it, Mom? Have you been smoking cod again? So, it's my business. I'm 21. We need your voice, Proto. I'm not just a voice for you, you know, Mom. I'm my own man, or fish, or fish man, or man fish, a merman. Do you know how rare a merman is? Do you? Have you not noticed you're the only male here? A boy mermaid. Merman. Yes. And a merman only comes along once every generation. Yeah, I know. I'm a rare fish. That's right. A rare tenor fish. Our school needs a tenor voice or we're doomed. Oh, like no pressure, Mom, you know? And Thelma, I thought you had this. You're right. I'm sorry, Mother. We need to work on the harmonies. And I was thinking of putting in some counterpoint. Counterpoint? You know, sort of like a canon that kind of echoes. Oh, they would sing, oh, we don't care about your hair. And I would go, about your hair. That kind of thing. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, Thelma. You see everyone, Thelma is helping. Thelma knows how to sing a siren song. Oh, Thelma is helping. Oh, oh Thelma, oh, Thelma. oh that's oh. helping. You never listen to me. Or me, never. Me either. I can't sing in this old top. Thelma, Thelma, Thelma. The ocean floor is shaking. Our beautiful chamber beneath the sea is falling over. Look out! Ah! And so the giant deep sea drill began destroying the ancient deep sea chamber of the siren. My name is Circe. Let me enchant you. Oh, yes, Circe. Very enchanting, so they were. We didn't know yet what had happened or how the crew disappeared. After checking in on Cersei in me cabin, I went to look for me best friend, Tom. Tom! What are you doing in here? This cargo hold is off limits. Shh! Not so loud. Come over here and look at this. I don't know, Tom. Dr. Krill doesn't want us poking about our secret equipment. Bosco, you have to see this. <gasps> what is it? Some kind of giant shark cage. That's what I thought at first. But look. Look here. Well, I'll be. Yes. This is not for keeping creatures out. This cage is it's for keeping something in. Krill wants to catch something alive. Something big. Uh, there's some things in the deep that's best left undisturbed. Aye, the sea is a mystery. Like a woman. Like a woman? Yes. The sea is deep like a woman. Beautiful like a woman. Mysterious like a, like, like a woman. 
in a one moment calm and serene and the next moment full of rage and anger and, and we men haven't the slightest clue when or why she will suddenly go insane like a woman I, that's why I love to see I know you do Tom I wish I wish the tales were true Bosco oh yes one of them fabled fish lassies a sea nymph a mermaid. Sometimes I drift off in my head. It's like I can hear her voice. Whose voice? A seagirl singing from under the sea, calling to me. And I, I, I can't resist. And then suddenly I'm, I'm swimming through the waves naked, uh, laughing, balancing a ball on my nose. On your nose? Like a dolphin, free and, and happy. But uh, that's just a dream. But we are so much stuff as dreams are made on. Yeah, but maybe the right woman is out there for me somewhere. In the sea? Maybe, I just haven't found her yet. Not likely. No, no. I told you never, never, never get involved. Human relationships, Tom. They just don't work. You know, sometimes I think you're right. Of course I'm right. You sleep with a woman once, twice, three times, and before you can lace your shoes, they want to know everything about you. Yeah, your feelings, your innermost secrets. Your name? I. It's complicated, all right. It's just not worth it. That's why I've Cersei. You know, she's never said an unkind word to me, not even when- Shh, get down behind this barrel. In here, Nula? It's off limits. It's perfect. Oh. It's Nula! Mm. Oh, we're in for it now! She's mm. with Kirk. That's it. Uh -huh. I'm gonna... No! Stay down! We're not supposed to be in here, remember? Mm. Ah, yes. Perfect for us to be... alone. <laughs> and we can... Oh! Oh! Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh. oh! Oh, Nula! Oh. We're so yeah. good, yeah. yeah? How would you? Yes! Yes! yes. Yes. Oh, 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 Tom! Oh? Uh, Kirk, I mean. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Kirk. <laughs> How strange. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's okay, Nula. <laughs> I don't care about names. <laughs> what are names? <laughs> Just a label. <laughs> it's not Albert labels I uh, want. It's, it's you. <gasps> the real you. <gasps> All of you. That, there is oh, so much you know, I need to share with you. Yes, you're right. Let's find a sofa. We, we have so much to talk about. Talk? Yes, I have so much inside. For a muscly guy, Kirk is very sensitive. Shh. Oh, Nula, I have so many secret feelings. Uh, feelings that uh, I need to express. That I can only express with someone special. Yes, of course. Um, let's clear off this operating table. <laughs> Nula! Oh, don't worry. That's the doctor's equipment. We'll blame it on the rough seas. The ship violently rocking back and forth. But the ship isn't rocking. <laughs> but it will be. Take me, Kirk. What? Oh, 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 God. oh, 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 Tom. Tom. Kirk. Nula. Bosco. Bosco. Kirk. I, I made it clear that this cargo hold is off limits, Tom. Off limits? Nula, you want to talk about uh, off limits? Okay, let's just take it easy there, Tom. Stop jumping over the, the next port. Oh, you'll follow orders, Tom. I wear the captain's hat here. Yeah, nothing else. What? Here, Nula, uh, put this back on. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Kirk. Um, it's just a physical thing. I'm using Kirk, that's all. <laughs> You're using me? Oh, it's no big deal. What do you mean you're know using me? Oh, it's just a sex like. You dare to come in here? Or, or bad people, aren't they, Dr. Krill? Very bad. Oh, I hate them, bad people. Oh, I'd bite them. Can I bite them? Can I believe? Down, Betty, down. I'm sorry, Doctor, but Kirk and I discovered Tom and Bosco in here. Uh, that's not true. We discovered them. Oh, oh shut mean, up, Tom. It's so weird. Oh, I'm like Tom. I don't care about your dysfunctional relationships. You've got me so upset I've nearly worked loose. The bandage is wrapped around my... 
You're kind of foaming there, doctor. Let us help you. No! Don't touch me, you doomed human. Get back! I'm warning you! Just take it easy, Betty. There's a good girl. It's all right, Betty. I am fine. But I suggest we all get onto the bridge. We are fast approaching. Approaching what? Approaching that. What is it? That is rig 39! So days before our arrival, the gnarly, jagged-tooted deep-sea drill was captured, and the crew of the rig were taken prisoner, and each one of them found themselves in a cage. Prisoners of... Hold me. tie. Yes, Cersei. The sirens. Hey! Hey! How long are you going to keep me in here? I don't know. Uh, however long my mom says, okay? Ouch! Your mom, huh? Well, I just want you to know you don't have to keep stabbing me with your trident. You mean like this? Ouch! Yes, like that! Please stop! Really, I won't resist at all. I'm not your enemy. I actually like the sea. It's very beautiful. The clean bits, I mean. Then why are you destroying it? Well, working that drill, it's just a job. Fact is, I need the money. What I really want to do is write poetry. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? Really. When? No. No. Yes. Do it. Do what? A poem. Right here? Yes. All right. Here's one. The sea is pretty. The sea is sweet. I like the sea. It sure is neat. Bobbing in the waves like an aimless cork. Or stabbed by a mermaid with a giant fork. <laughs> Always the frothy foam sits me fine. I will make my home in the salty brain. So, what do you think? That was the most beautiful thing I ever heard. Oh, really? Oh, yes. People usually hate my stuff. The fools. That's what I say. You are a true poet. Thanks. What is your name? Jimmy. I'm called Dodo. Dodo? That's a lovely name. Have you more poems, Jimmy? Yes, I have loads. Oh, say them. Say them all to me. I want to hear them all. Okay, if you insist. I insist. Oh, your voice when you say those beautiful words. I can't resist. Oh, Dodo, isn't it supposed to work the other way around? What? Me not being able to resist your voice. Oh, I know, but I don't care. Then I don't care. Let's not cur together. Yes, let's not cur. Oh, do a poem, Jimmy. Do it to me now. Once I caught a glimpse of that glorious sea nymph in seaweed wreath and clamshell divine, I would give her everything to make you mine. <laughs> In my heart forever, I keep her precious photo, as I do spoken word in a cage for my beautiful dodo. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds so... Forbidden. Yes, but it doesn't have to be that way. You and I? Yes. It's so... Oh, I just don't know. Even thinking about it. <sighs> oh, Dodo. I think I'm falling in love. Me too. If it is money you want... I can give you money, just let me go. Kratos? Yes, Cleo. The trident. Of course. Ah, you're torturing me because I'm a man? So you are a man. Yes, I am a man. A male. You are consumed by me. The thought of me, your need for a relationship with me, and my powerful pulsing, punching, pounding man power. Ah, <laughs> no. Oh, yes. You all desire me. Because also I'm rich and very super cool. Okay, you're not very super cool. I am? I am very, very super cool. Money is the sex, and I have all the money. Yeah? Well, I don't see any sex. 
Poke him, Kratos. Wait, Cleo, it's my turn. Oh, yes, yeah, Sito, your turn. Poke him good. I think all men are very bad, and you are the worst. What are you doing with a giant fork? This is what I'm doing with a giant fork. <laughs> oh, Sito, you got him good that time. I aimed for his manpower. Excellent. <laughs> Not much manpower now. You should have never come here. We don't need you. You knocked over our chamber. You choked the seas with your waist. You're destroying our home. My home. You have legal title to this home. I own this place and all the minerals and resources. It's people like you who hurt Floppy. I don't care about this Floppy. Oh, Cradle, get the whip! Oh yeah, it's whipping time now. Uh oh, <laughs> get him, Cradle. Whip him good. I'm really going to enjoy this. <laughs> I also will enjoy this because it shows how obsessed you are with me your whole lives. Your whole existence is aimed at me, a man. Because you cannot face life without a man. A man with power of man energy and the energy of man power. Ah, uh, fuck off. Yeah, we're not obsessed by you. We don't even like you, you nasty, vain, arrogant, self-absorbed poop butt. Ha, <laughs> you see? Even now you're talking about me. We have better things to talk about than oh, you. I don't think so. Stop it! Oh, you make me so angry, so sad, I just, oh, oh. You see, you're a woman with the weak tears whimpering, because you desire me and you cannot have what you desire. You're crazy, I don't desire you, I don't even like you. <laughs> yes, you want to feel my manpower. Oh, he's sick. Yeah. Let's shut him up. Let's kill him! No, we're just gonna gag him. Here, shove this seaweed in his mouth. My pleasure. The will of nature for the male to dominate the... Oh, oh, oh. There, we don't have to listen to him anymore. Serves him right. I think it's time to pass the bestial test. You mean talk about anything other than our relationships with men? Men don't talk to me. Okay, what should we talk about? Clothes. Singing. The environment. Jewelry. Little baby octopuses, like Floppy. Oh, Floppy is so cute. I love him. We could talk about mom. Ugh, not mom. It's always mom. I think she means well. I, I guess we're at that age. What are you talking about that age? Yeah, trying to establish our own independence in the world. And figure out our identities. All I know is my main mermaid wardrobe is desperate. And you know, I know it sounds awful, but... And don't spread this around. I know it's sick and twisted, but I really, really wish I could wear shoes. Oh, shoes! Oh, yes, and socks! I and socks with sea turtles! We are Oreto, queen of the mermaids, and occasionally mermen, but they are much rarer. A serenine nereid of the Ichthyo Astichthyae. Amazing. A what of a what? A mermaid. You are a mermaid. Queen of the mermaids, if you please. It is a great honor to meet you, your highness. <laughs> yes, it is. So come here to us. What's all this carry on destroying our home? I am sorry, truly I am. You come down into our domain with your big drilling drill thing that drills, and you knock over our home and all you can say is I am sorry. Oh, please, listen to me. I can help you. I want to help you. I am Professor Daphne Scoobalopolopolis. Scoobalopolopolis what? Uh, just call me Scuba. What? Uh, look, it doesn't matter. The main thing is I am an oceanographer hired to oversee the dragon. <laughs> it's the trident for you. No, no, wait, wait. But you see, really, all along I have been sabotaging the work, recalibrating the sonar array, jabbing little holes in the air hoses, putting the pterygenous sediment data in the box marked pelagic sediment data, and putting the hydrogenous data in the box. In the box marked pterygenous data? Yes. And that's not all. For months I've been replacing the masonry drill bits with wood drill bits, flipping buttons left which should flip right. I have even unplugged the coffee maker when they weren't looking. Work stopped for over a week over that one. <laughs> so, you see, I am on your side. I don't want to kill the seas. I want them to live. Mm, why should we believe you? 
Because killing the seas is killing ourselves. Ha! Any inbred brain dead drooling fool with a half chromosome knows that. Oh, have you met Mr. Bukharin, director of Death Grip Oil? Hmm. We see. I can help you. There's a rescue ship on the way to the rig. They will start drilling unless we, we... ambush them. Of course. Sound the horn of hornfulness. <laughs> Mermaids! Yes, Harvey! And Merman! Leave the prisoners in their cages while we go set a trap for those above. Come, fly, my pretties, fly! Uh, swim, I mean swim! <laughs> we pulled alongside that ghostly steel platform, standing in the fog like an unlucky penny from hell, bobbing in the middle of the sea. The captain and Tom stayed aboard the bridge while Kirk, Dr. Krill, Betty and I stepped onto the devil's own rig. Where are they now? Just a second. Come in, Doctor. What is your progress? We are progressing. Kirk, Bosco and I have walked safely across the deck and are just opening the outer door now. It's open. We are going inside to begin our search. Kirk, keep the net at the ready. Betty, you go in first. All right! I get to go into the dangerous place first! Let us follow this Betty. Is great. I Let am expendable. Let us follow Betty inside. Uh, there's a lot of interference. Oh, that's to be expected. I don't like it. It could be a trap. Oh, relax, Tom. It's pretty eerie. There's nothing here. Then let us descend down. Down, down into the black bowels of this deadly dark labyrinth. Come! Right? Oh boy! We're going down! Down! We're losing contact. They're very far into the ring. Let me just try adjusting the radio. Get away from that! Ow! Oh but we've got to! Just let me do this, Tom! I'm just saying! I know what you're saying, and I know what you're really saying! Oh, now, now I'm saying something, and then really saying something? Oh, <laughs> Oh, the smells! Something's happened! You smell that, lads? <coughs> oh, that's disgusting. There is a song louder laminating from Zips Valeria. Uh, please repeat that, Doctor. I said, there is a strong odor emanating from this area. A very ancient and fish-like smell. It appears the floor is covered in some kind of muck. Like a batter. It's all sticky. Mama, it tastes like flesh. Human flesh. Take that out of your mouth, buddy. Oh, do I have to? Yes, you don't know who that severed hand belonged to. <gasps> Devil creatures from the deep. Look out! Ah! Oh, no! Come in, can you hear us? From hell's heart, I stab at thee. Stop him, stop him. Doctor, Bosco, come! Something's wrong. For heaven's sake, I spit my last breath at thee. Spit, spit. Can you hear me? Hello? They can't hear you. I'm going over there. No, don't be such a fool. Someone has to help them. So Tom raced alone onto the deck of Rig 39. And he soon found himself face to face with... Let me embrace you. Yes, Cersei. I'll never let you go. Exactly. <sighs> oh, my. Uh, you, uh, by the railing, stop. I see such sadness in your human eyes. Well, I've got human problems, you know. Uh, a wife who never... Here, take my hand. But I, uh, oh, oh, your fingers, they're kind of webbed. That's for swimming. Sure, I, I guess that makes sense. Uh, I mean, look at your, your tail and those clam shells. I've been calling out to you, Tom. How do, how, do, how do you know my name? Oh, Tom, 
poor Tom. I'm reaching out to you. No, no. Touching no, you. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't resist. I can't, can't resist. No. Won't resist. We'll be together forever beneath the spray. Yes. Dancing and laughing naked. Through the way. Balancing a ball on our noses. What? Like dolphins. Oh, yes. Dolphins. I am jumping in the sea. Hey, 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 where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? And as Tom succumbed to the siren's seductively sweet song, we were fighting a school of mermaids. Indeed, an ambush. The creatures are everywhere! What point? What point? See? What point? And I don't let go! Retreat! Retreat! Everyone back into the water! They're retreating! Quick, grab the male! The male, I say! The muscular merman must not be allowed to escape! Bosco, get around the other side! Hey! Hey! Let me go! Gotcha! Got him! Point! Point! Ow! Those teeth hurt! Ha <laughs> ha! Good girl, Betty! Oh, he's slippery! Quickly, Kurt! I'll hold him by his beard while you throw the net over his flexing, beefy pectorals with a rippling washboard abdominals! <laughs> 
Yes, Doctor. The net! Release me! Excellent! We've got him! The merman! Trapped! Wonderful! A perfect male specimen. Just look at his well-defined glutes as they twist and flex. So firm! Oh! Hey! Stop that! We took the captured merman aboard our ship. The doctor placed the creature in her tank in the lab she had set up in the cargo hold. Tom had disappeared. Without Cersei to speak to me, I would have gone crazy. <laughs> now I have you! You! <laughs> oh, it's no use trying to escape this tank. You must let me go. I'll start singing. Oh no, my stud. Sing all you like, but your siren song will have no effect on me. I have seen to that. But that's not possible. No woman can resist my call. True, but certain kinds of creatures are immune to your power, isn't that right? Only creatures who breathe with these! <coughs> oh, threat. It's a raptor tied around my... <laughs> Wait, let me pull these bandages from my neck. There! Now, only creatures who breathe with these! Oh, gross! You are guilt? Yes! Guilt! <laughs> See how I wiggle them as well? Neither. Oh, <laughs> gross! We may have temporarily driven away the sirens, but not for long. Well, that was a bit of a draw, lads. We got one of theirs, but they got Frodo. I never thought I'd say this, but I actually want my brother back. I miss him. He's not as smart as us, you know? Oh, those humans are probably getting ready to fry him in a batter right now! Ah, oh, don't say that! We have to do something, Mom. I know. I can destroy their ship. How? By using the giant submarine drill as a ram. Do it! Oh, no, no, I will make you all way for this. Oh, shut up! Nobody even cares about you! <laughs> I can't run the drill alone. I need Jimmy's help. Jimmy! Huh? What's that again? Oh, Jimmy! Dodo! Jimmy! Dodo! Jimmy! Dodo! Jimmy. Okay! <laughs> Look, Jimmy. You want my daughter? Yes. Then help work the drill. Okay. All right then. Jimmy and I will crash the drill into their ship while you mermaids swim alongside and rescue, uh, uh what's his name? Proto! Right, Proto! You wanted to see me, Nula? Uh, Captain? Yes, Kirk. <laughs> I do. Will this take long? I'm supposed to be out on deck manning the big harpoon no. gun in case the sirens attack again. No. I just want you. Want me? To know. Oh. To know. Oh. It's just uh, so very. Physical? Very. Oh, Kirk. Nula. Oh, Kirk. Oh. Mom. Oh. Mom. Activate systems. Systems activated! All right, let's go! Engines on! <laughs> Engines on! All ahead, pull! Here we go! There's a big one, Dr. Krill! A big, big fish! Keep that seal away from me. She bites, you know. I have spent years preparing myself for this day. Get away from me! Chromosome by chromosome, I have genetically altered myself. The gills, the scales, the way my mouth goes like this, see? Oh, gross! Stop it! What? This? Oh! Yes. I can do anything in the water a fish can. Then why do you need me? Why? Isn't it obvious? No. It's quite simple, my fish cake. I need you to spawn. To breed. No! Let me go! I don't even know you. See, I climb into the tank with you as my husband. Now flex your glutes! It's too much! Too fast! Ah! It seemed like the whole world was turned upside down. 
Fish were people, people were fish. A talking seal? And Tom, my best friend, was gone. I was all alone with just Cersei at my side. I did what any air-breathing man would do. I locked myself in my cabin with Cersei and got so absolutely drunk, I began to lose my mind. Oh, Cersei, Cersei, you're such a doll. Yes, I am. A living doll. No, not living. Just a large rubber doll. Very lifelike, but still a doll. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that, Cersei. You spend a lot of time pretending, don't you, Bosco? You don't know what you're saying. A grown man spending all his hours alone in a room with a large anatomically correct doll. It's not like that. It's exactly like that, Bosco. I'm tired of being your plaything. Kept for your amusement. I'm not an object. If this relationship is to survive, you have to respect me. I do respect you, Cersei. Then why do you squeeze me? I, I thought you liked this. You thought? Did it ever occur to you to ask me and actually listen to what I have to say? I mean, really, listen. But I do listen! No, you don't. If you did, you would change and start treating me with respect and keep me well inflated. You saw what happened to poor Tom. Yes? Well, let that be a lesson of what happens when you no longer communicate with someone. Poor, poor Tom. Tom. A lifetime wasted in the wrong relationship with the wrong person. And when he finally woke up, he drowned. So tragic. Do you want us to end the same way? Uh, no! Sissy, no, please! I'm not that bright. But just tell me what I can do to save a relationship. I need someone who is gentle and kind and funny and treats me right. Uh, I can be that person for you, my love. Can you? Carry me around everywhere you go, showing me off to your friends like I'm some kind of toy trophy. Uh, oh, Cersei, Cersei! Let's not let that ever happen between us. I am Cersei. Let me embrace you. Oh, that's my girl. The master, the, the swabber, the boatswain, and I, I the, the gunner, gunner and his mate, love ball, Meg, Meg and, and Marion and Marjorie, but none of us cared for Kate, for, for she had a tongue with a tongue, would cry to a sailor, go hang. What? Oh, yes, that's true. That is so true. <laughs> Stop that! This is so anatomically wrong! Nonsense! Use the battery dish! Mom? Mom! Where are you? Ah, even now, my assistant Kirk is waiting with the giant harpoon gun to skewer your family when they rise! No! You can't! I'll pick you up out of the, the water! Hey! Put me back in! Oh, my! Doctor! The merman has picked you up right over his head! <laughs> so you have gills. All right, then. I'll drown you in the air. What? No! No! You can't do this to me! Here, I will toss you on deck. Hey! Ah! Oh, no! No! Oh! Ah! Oh, no! Throw me back! Toss me back! The air! Yes, breathe! Yes, breathe! Oh, Doctor, yes! Let's play! Stop licking me, Betty! Stop it! I'm dying! You stupid... I am dying! Dr. Krill! Dr. Krill! Why aren't you playing with me anymore? Target in sight, Professor! Alright! Ramming speed! Ramming speed! Oh, oh, yeah. oh. No, no, no! I can't! Don't touch me! Oh, but I have needs! But I need so much more than your needs! Oh, there's only one thing you need! Oh, yeah. Stop it! Yeah. Stop it! No! The ship! 
It's tearing in two! We're sinking! Ah! Something's wrong, Cersei! I don't remember this much seawater in our cabin! Oh, hold me. Hold me tight. Of course, my little floaty love. See? My sweet buoyancy aid? We're going for a little swim. And so it ended. Who knows what happened to them all? All I know is that two days later I was found floating with Cersei in the middle of that sea. A lifesaver she is, aren't you, Cersei? Aye, buoys me up in every sense of the word. And we only escaped alone to tell thee. Yes, you and <coughs> Cersei. Aye, hark! Even now I hear the sirens singing. What? Shh. Listen. You have been listening to The Songs of the Sirens, or The Ghosts of Rig 39, written, directed, and composed by the infinitely talented Roger Gregg. The voices and sounds you heard were presented by the equally wonderful Gaiety School of Acting Class of 2018 graduates, Niall McAvoy, Sarah Richardson, Joe Mac Miranda, Shane Flynn, Kasia Talaska, Sive McLaughlin, Kit Thompson, Roisin Lacey, Aoife Fitzpatrick, Jack Gavin, Dmitry Vinokurov, Cara McCarthy, Connor Dudley Fergus, Isabella Regan, Susie Sawafi, Anastasia Blake, Emily Parrott, and Hallie Smythe. This has been a production of the Gaiety School of Acting, Class of 2018. Thank you for listening. <laughs>